<laughs> I'm always attracted to things that are vastly different from me, things that are outside of my comfort zone. So I was 13, and there was a kid in school named Eric. He was a graffiti artist. So of course, the other kids were scared when they stayed away from him. I was drawn to him. For some reason, he took to me. And so I became his kind of lookout. The first time I put up a tag, it was like one night, he just threw me a can and was like, put up a tag. I was like so nervous, I didn't know what to write. So I wrote Eddie. And he laughed. He's like, you can't put your name up. That's the whole point. For a kid in Brooklyn, you put up a tag on a train. That train is going out to Manhattan. That train is going all the way to the Upper West Side and maybe up to the Bronx. It's an amazing thing to think about for a little kid to say, if I put something on here, hundreds, maybe thousands of people are going to see it. It's a very powerful thing. Even if it's one week on a subway, I want to yell my name at the top of my lungs and have someone notice me. Many years later, I look back on it, and I find a very similar thing with cuisine. That tag, it's your one signature mark. It's the same line, it's the same diagonal, it's around, and you fill it in. But it's never the same, because there is the human element involved. I make the same dish every night, it's the same recipe. But every day is going to be a little bit different. The tags will evolve over time. But you never have a record of what you did six months ago to compare it against. It's just gone. The only thing that's left is what's in your head. There's something so beautiful about that, and yet so crushingly tragic. <laughs>